Are you tired of all your randomly generated townies looking ridiculous with all their CC? In this video, I'll be telling you how to make sure this won't happen again. Hi everyone, my name is Bertha and today I am showing you how to disallow CC for random. In other words, how to make sure that randomly generated sims will not be wearing all those ridiculous custom content items. The first thing you're going to need is a program called Sims 4 Studio. In order to get this program, you will have to go to sims4studio.com. Then you will want to go to downloading and installing Sims 4 Studio. Then downloading Sims 4 Studio. And here you can choose whether you want the uh, version for Windows or the version for Mac. I have Windows, so we're going to go to the Windows version. Then you're going to see this and you want to scroll down until you get to a big download button over here. You can choose to either download an installer or a zip. It doesn't really matter. I, I choose the installer. It will download. And then after it has been downloaded, you want to open the file to install The Sims 4 Studio. Well, I have already installed it, but you follow the steps until you've installed the program and you're ready to go. So I'm just slowly going to show you all the steps that I take to make sure that my townies don't wear any ridiculous CC. So first you download CC. You can, of course, download this to your mods folder directly, but what I do is a bit different. It is a bit easier and I will explain why later on. So I have decided I want to download this here download then I want to save it to a different folder that is not in my sims 4 folder. The sims 4 folder is in uh, my documents, electronic arts and then the sims 4 and then here's your mods folder where you would usually probably save your mods. However to make it easier for you later on I would download it to a different folder. I've just created a random folder somewhere which is not in the Sims 4 folder and called it test. Just give it a name, whatever you want. As you can see, this is all the CC that I have downloaded recently and that I still want to disallow for random. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open the Sims 4 Studio and you wanna go to content management, batch fixes, create a sim and then disallow CC for random. This asks for your mods folder and it will automatically go to the standard Sims 4 mods folder. But because we have saved a CC that we want to disallow for random in another folder, we're gonna need to select that folder. So find the folder that you have saved your CC in, select it here. This is the folder where your backup is going to be made so if anything happens to the custom content after this process if it becomes unusable or it breaks your game or whatever the original files like before you disallowed them for cc they will be backupped in this folder so you've selected your folder with the cc you want to disallow you've got a backup folder and you'll click run so it will open the backup folder in here you will see all the backups of all the things that you've done in the program and in case something has happened to the CC that I just disallowed for random, I could go back to this one and here, look, this is the hair that I just downloaded and still had to be disallowed for, for random. So this is the original file and the file that was in our folder is now actually disallowed for random. As you can see, it shows the results. No fix needed, 109. These are pieces of CC that were already disallowed for random. And this was the one we just downloaded and was not disallowed yet. So this one is now also disallowed. It has been fixed. So we can just close the program. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy, I mean cut, all the custom content you have just disallowed for CC and you're gonna put it in your mods folder. 
Um, what I do again when I put things in my mods folder is I'm going to put it in a separate folder. I call it test in game. You want to put it in a different folder so in case something happens in your game you will know where to locate the problem file like the file that caused the problem in your game otherwise you would have to go through literally all your mods and cc and that would be ridiculous so if something happens to the game now i know that one of these files is the file that caused the problem so at this moment your CC has been disallowed for random and your townies will not be wearing ridiculous custom content outfits. However, I promised you to explain why I didn't just directly download CC to my mods folder and then had the Sims 4 Studio disallow all the stuff in my mods folder. I did that because there are some pieces of CC or other kinds of mods that will break when you run The Sims 4 Studio. So what you can do is you can download all your CC and, and, and stuff directly to your mods folder and then have The Sims 4 Studio run the disallow batch fix over all of your mods. But why I don't do that is one, because it has to do every single file again, even though they have already been disallowed before. So it takes a lot longer. And if you do that, you would have to take out script mods and mods that you know that are going to break your game if The Sims 4 Studio disallows them. One example that you would have to take out every time is the No EA Lashes mod. If this mod is in the folder that you're going to have The Sims 4 Studio disallow for random, your Sims will not have faces anymore. So the reason I save new CC to a different folder and run the Sims 4 Studio over a different folder is because then I don't have to take out all my script mods and other CC that I know is going to break when I have the Sims 4 Studio disallow them for random. So it's just way easier. Just a little recap, in short, you want to download your CC to a different folder that is not in your Sims 4 mods folder. Then you will go to the Sims 4 Studio, Content Management, Batch Fixes, Create a Sim and Disallow CC for Random. You will select here your folder that contains your newly downloaded CC and you will run the batch fix. Then all the CC in that folder will be disallowed for random. You can select the CC and put it in your actual Sims 4 mods folder and you're done. Your townies will now not wear ridiculous CC outfits anymore. One little side note, every time you use this function of disallowing CC for random, as I said, a backup will be made in a folder called batch fixes in your document Sims 4 Studio. Here you see all the backups that are made. If you use this a lot and you don't delete these backups every once in a while, this folder will get huge. And so if you get a notification from your computer saying, oh, you don't have much space left on your hard drive and you think like, how is that possible? Because I don't have that many games or not that many files on my hard drive. I don't get why it's full. Check this folder and see if maybe you have lots of space taken up by these backup folders. If your game is working fine, you can just safely delete all these backups because there's no reason you would have to go back to your original CC files because the, same, the game is working just fine. So that's it for today. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and let me know in the comments if you are interested in any other tutorials uh, and I might be able to make them for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!